Yeah. <laughs> well, I hope you get better lore. <laughs> I don't mean it like that, but I hope you do find the job you like. <laughs> That's so fucked, yeah. Especially to go through the trouble of doing all that paperwork, or like sending out all that paperwork and stuff, and like having that back and forth of like, you, it wasn't just like, oh, like you did an interview and like you were hoping or something. It was like, oh, you had the job. <laughs> What the fuck? This ends now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're like, was was I hallucinating? <laughs> Are were these people even real? <laughs> I mean, I'm 23. I have no clue how to adult, so I don't blame you for that. <laughs> Keep clear of its more, my lord. That thing's breath is worse than its bite. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, like you don't want to get into like any kind of like contractual stuff or like things that are like ne you know negative for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm in your Yeah. What's up? That's how I. Yeah. I mean, Grant. Oh, go ahead. No, I was gonna say, granted, like, obviously, my jobs, all the jobs I've had aren't really, like, established in any kind of, like, potential career or just, like, a long-term offering. <laughs> For the most part, I work just regular labor jobs and that kind of stuff. But even then, I'm the same way where, like, I I haven't had many jobs because when I leave a job, one, before I leave a job, it takes me a really long time to find the job I would even consider doing because same reasons. Like, I want to find something exactly like you're talking about, where it's like, I just... It's so easy to end up in those situations where you join, like, you join a team, you go on a job, and it's like, it doesn't end up being like what you were promised or what you expected, and this, that, and the other. And it's so hard figuring that that out without just going to the job. Like, you're never gonna know until you go into the job, which sucks. That's why, like, I'm the same way with that kind of stuff. Hmm. <laughs> I have <laughs> still laughing. I was like, <laughs> you're like, <laughs> I'm obviously I'm not in <laughs> like dire financial straits or anything. And then I just imagine you like in the Discord call, like in a box, like <laughs> you're just like in a cardboard box. Like <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. <laughs> Spare change. Spare change. <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. They are. Let's destroy capitalism. <laughs> We're good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but also, oh god. Yeah. 
<laughs> it is what it is. Also totally unrelated. I was just gonna ask. Did you guys have a piece, like you didn't have any trouble with the stream loading when you had it up, did you? Like the resolution or anything? Okay. Like no buff no buffering or anything? Okay, cool. Cause that that's one of the main reasons I switched to YouTube is because of the higher bitrate limits, which are really nice. Like it still isn't perfect because <laughs> uh, YouTube has issues with their 1080p encoder because they're rolling out. Um, I know it's gonna sound like fucking <laughs> like Shadow Wizard money gang kind of speech. Like it's not gonna make any sense because it's just a bunch of fucking like numbers and code shit. <laughs> but like YouTube, their encoder for 1080p is um, I forget what they call it. It, they have two of them, and the new one, the new, they have a new 1080p resolution coming out, which is basically um, uh, 1080p premium. So only pre YouTube premium users are gonna get it. They don't use it for live streams though. It's only gonna be for videos right now. But like, it looks so much better, and it's so fucking stupid that it's locked behind a paid subscription. So if you're gonna like stream in regular 1080p without being a premium member, which it, it's like they almost like nerfed the old 1080p encoder basically, which is really dumb. But I switched to YouTube because of the higher bit rate because at least 1080p does look better at the higher bit rate. Because Twitch only offers like 6,000 bit rate compared to YouTube, which has a max of 51,000. So it's a lot better. No! <laughs> <laughs> that's why that's why I said that just because I know you mentioned to me but you were like like when I talk, when I talk on stream stuff and stuff you're like I don't know what any of that means kiss me Joshua I like that cautious, like, <laughs> hesitation. You were like, yeah. <laughs> so, okay, <laughs> and the, the, the last thing I'll say about it <laughs> is um, Twitch, the big issue, and that, that's the one thing that sucks about it, is because of their bit rate limit. The max is 6,000, right? 6,000 kilobits per second, or like 6 megabits per second. Um, you know how, like, have you ever done an internet speed test, Jura? Like when you check your internet speeds and stuff? You know how you get the download speed and upload speed? Your upload speed is used for streaming, basically. That's that's what you care about, is your upload speed. And so like, let's say I have like 20 megabits per second upload speed. You're, when you stream, you want it to use up about like 80% of your total bandwidth. So if my number is 21 upload speed, I, my Twitch stream, I want it, well, my stream, I want it to use at least 80% of that. So like, I'm not good at math, let's say 15. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it's 15. I don't know if 15 is 80% of 20. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't wanna do math. <laughs> but the thing with Twitch, what sucked about it is they didn't have transcoding options. They didn't have trans rights. Yeah. <laughs> transcoding, that's when like, you know how like the big Twitch streamers and stuff, like when you go on their stream and you hit the little gear and you could lower the resolution, even though like the Twitch streamer might be streaming in like 1080p, you could lower it to 720 or something less. That's transcoding. So the viewers could lower the resolution of the stream so that they're like, because they're using their bitrate to watch you. Whatever, you, whatever bitrate you're streaming in, if I stream at like 10,000 megabits or sorry, kilobits per second, my viewers are going to have to load that 10,000 kilobit per second to watch my stream. And if they have weak internet, it's going to cause buffering. But with transcoding options, what they could do is they could lower the resolution so that it lower, ultimately like lowers the bitrate. So that way they could watch with a slower internet while I still stream for the people who are able to watch it in higher quality and higher bitrate. I could still stream that for them, you know? It's like you give everyone the best of both worlds on YouTube. Twitch, you can't do that. You have to be a partner to even be considered. 
available for transcoding options, and then ultimately the Twitch, the highest bitrate they allow is 8,500 kilobits per second, where again, YouTube offers 51,000 kilobits per second, which is a lot more. <laughs> That's your technical, like, yeah, we, we lost. Chura is literally, like, on the floor, like, curled up in a ball. <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, you think? <laughs> that? <laughs> Hey, it's okay. I like I like talking about this stuff whether it's understood or not. It it no no you don't have to be sorry. It's yeah. <laughs> it. Yeah. <laughs> Talking. <laughs> you won't be gone for long. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Trust me. You don't. <laughs> you don't even want to understand. Because once you start to understand, it just drives you crazy. I've literally, like I said, I've played this fucking Final Fantasy, which I love, by the way, but and I'm so excited to start streaming it. But I've played the same fucking because I want a good point of reference. So I've been, I, I have a save file on the demo of the game that I've just been loading, and I've been going through like 30 minutes at a time each on a test stream, ending stream, watching it all back, making sure it looks good, making sure it sounds good. I've been doing that for 15 fucking hours now. I have 15 hours on the demo. It's a, like a one-hour demo, and I've been doing that just non-stop, driving myself crazy over something I shouldn't really care about, but I do. Because, <laughs> because once I have this figured out, regardless of if I grow my channel or not, at least I'll never have to figure it out again. Uh, these settings will be permanent, unless my PC fucking explodes and I have to redo all my settings. That I would cry. That's, I actually, <laughs> I take pictures, like on my phone, on my camera roll, I have a bunch of pictures of my settings and what I have them set to. So if I ever do, like, if Windows bugs out, or like if I ever lose my PC and I have to do it on another PC, well, it would be a different if it was on another PC, but you get what I mean. If Windows fucks up in any way, shape, or form, I have my settings saved through photos so I can just load them up off those photos. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and actually, when I was doing that test stream that you guys were watching, I temporarily dropped frames, so now I'm testing the video to make sure I have no dropped frames. <laughs> it never ends! <laughs> no! Yeah, I know, I know! I know I was supposed to stream last week. I planned to have a stream last week. <laughs> but I put it off because of this. I actually bought a new monitor because I thought I wanted to downscale to a lower resolution, but I ended up sticking with 4K, and I'm just downscaling to 1080p. Because <laughs> here's more here's more technical explanations for you. No. <laughs> I just I was just gonna say, downscaling from 4K to 1080p for your stream is a lot smoother than if you were to downscale from 1440p to 1080p. It's not an even downscale, so it ends up looking really jagged and pixely. But I, I bought, I literally bought a 1440p monitor that I have to return because I thought I wanted to do that and I learned the hard way. <laughs> also, I just like my big TV, my big 42 inch, it's very nice. I can never go back to a regular monitor size now. <laughs> Big, big screen. Yeah, <laughs> yes. The moon looks so small going back to a 27 inch.
Size queen. I need. <laughs> wait, wait, <laughs> wait, Froggy. Are you, you gotta <laughs> hold on. I gotta, I gotta get the fucking gif. I'll send it in Fog Squad. I have to find it. <laughs> Froggy, you, you have to do this. You have to. <laughs> Eat the burger. <laughs> or have you seen the the fucking like role play texture like the, the the GMs where it's like open wider or open your mouth <laughs> and it's like the colon Z and it's like open wire wider <laughs> and then the person sends colon O like capital O. <laughs> <laughs> I Froggy, I have a business proposition. What if I pay you in rock and stone? <laughs> I literally I will give you rock and stone. Who needs money? Who needs dollar bills when you have rock and stone? Ha ha ha.